What's going on everybody? Steven Deadling here from Dubsy Studios 25 and today we're going to talk about Halo 5. I'm going to try to keep it brief and uh, we got some Halo 4 gameplay in the background. I haven't played this game since the launch of uh, Master Chief Collection and this was my first game so uh, you know enjoy it if you can. I did pretty well actually for the first game in like six months at least. So uh, anyway um, today we're going to talk about the microtransactions in Halo 5 and if they are a good thing or a bad thing. And, uh, yeah, they're fucking terrible. They are terrible. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTube channels talk about how they're balanced and how it's not really that bad. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a big deal. And, uh, so the first thing I'd like to point out is with microtransactions, what everybody worries about is if it will be a pay to win game and a lot of people are like well it's not pay to win because you have to wait until you unlock the requisition tier in the game to even use the powerful weapons that you pay that you pay for well here's the here's the kick in the nuts is that that idea is is completely false because I mean <laughs> everybody's gonna reach that point in the game anyway Everybody's going to get the same amount of time to use the powerful weapons, and those who bought the powerful weapons will be able to actually use them. I mean, everybody's going to get to that point no matter what, but it just will come down to having purchased the thing prior. I mean, everybody's going to get to have the option to use that stuff at a certain point in every match, every Warzone match. And, and Warzone looked great. When I first saw this, I was like, hmm, this is, it's not going to be bad. Warzone looks pretty sweet. But... Anybody who pays for this shit is going to have an advantage over everyone else because, I mean, <laughs> you unlock them during ranks, sure, we don't know, but, I mean, we don't know what you're actually unlocking in each rank. You know, you could just be getting bronze packs and not getting shit. You have to actually buy the legendary ones and actually get the decent weapons, which is a bunch of shit, which is probably going to be the case. And when you say they probably won't do this, look at Destiny. All right, just look at Destiny. That game fucked us. Um, so yeah, when people say that companies wouldn't do create that kind of environment, look at Destiny. So anyway, um, what I wanted to also point out is that these things aren't just unlocking stuff in Warzone. Okay, it's also unlocking armor pieces and customization options. And I'm assuming that each of those options that it does unlock will be able to be only unlocked through purchasing these packs. And that's a problem because that means pay to get customization options and items that everyone else normally could not receive by just playing the game. Now that is a that I have an issue with. <laughs> All right, that's a problem. That's a problem. And guys, don't buy this shit because it ain't worth it, you guys. It's not worth it one bit at all. It really isn't. And don't go watch videos of people opening the shit. Do not do that. It's a bunch of shenanigans, man. It really is, because the people who are doing it get all these views and get paid back for this shit. They're not losing any money on it. They're just doing it to get your views, to attract the nine-year-olds. Okay? Don't go watch it. It's bad for your health. But the real other problem is that you're paying for this shit and it's just like Call of Duty. You know, it's just a random giveaway anyway. So when you pay for it, you don't actually know what you're going to get. It's just random shit. <laughs> it could be a bunch of nonsense that you get. Sure, you get one legendary card, but everything else could be a bunch of shit. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Seriously, it's fucking gambling. It's gambling. I mean, come on. I mean, I remember how scary it was to ask my dad for 800 Microsoft points back when I was six, or whatever the hell. And I don't even know how parents nowadays are letting their kids just be, like, when their kids come up to them and say, yeah, I'm going to randomly gamble on something. I don't know why why their parents are letting them do it. I mean, it's like putting a hundred dollars, asking them to put a hundred dollars in a slot machine. When the slot machine starts at a hundred dollars, <laughs> not like a penny machine, then you'd actually have a good chance of winning, but... This is just a machine that starts at $100. I mean, it's a complete waste of your money, you guys. It's a fool's errand. Don't buy microtransactions because, obviously, it's not just items that you unlock in a game mode. 
that everybody supposedly unlocks, which is a bunch of shit. But it's also customization options, and that means that there's going to be exclusive stuff to those who pay more. And this is not a fucking free-to-play game, dude. You already paid 60 bucks to play the game. I mean, come on. And then they were talking like we're going to use the proceeds to fund championships and tournaments. Who the fuck? Out of all the people who would be sitting and paying for this shit, how many of those people are actually going to the tournaments and need that funding to go to that? And that was a bullshit thing right there. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. That guy was dumb. But seriously, why the hell are you paying for it? You're not going to be going to those tournaments and championships, so why are you giving money to people who will go to the tournaments and championships? It has nothing to do with you. It is completely foolish. Don't spend the money on it. You gain no rewards. Everybody, like I said, fucking... When they talk about how it's balanced, it is not balanced at all. Everybody unlocks the ability to do it at the same time, to use the rec packs at the same time. You can use the higher tiers at the same time as everybody else. So technically, everybody can use those items, and those who paid for more of those items will get to use them more and get to kill more players. It is that simple. It is an unfair, unbalanced bullshit. It's an unequivocal problem that needs to be taken down right now. It needs to be fucking ban hammered, man. We gotta put the ban hammer on that shit. It's a bunch of shenanigans. We need to get rid of it right now. Seriously, it's a problem. It's a real fucking problem. And I was really, I'm really looking forward to Halo 5 still, but that makes me really disappointed because you know what else is gonna happen? They said they're gonna match you with players that have bought similar amounts of packs as you. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna lower the player num the player counts in in servers, and that means less players are gonna be playing the game at that level anyway. So you're gonna be I mean who the fuck you're just gonna be played with dumb people that buy all that shit. Don't buy it. It's a waste of your money, a serious waste of your money, and it allows them to believe they can do it more. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. It's a bunch of shit. I'll see you all later. Have a good day.